Today is Beltana, May the 1st, the first day of summer, and as if just on time, the first roses have opened, well, almost opened. Isn't that beautiful? I said the other day that there's probably going to be upwards of a hundred blooms on here. Well, I may have underestimated because they just seem to be coming out thick and fast all over the place. Aren't they gorgeous? This is going to look spectacular in a couple of days' time. Well, just a quick walk through the garden. Kind of a dull day here, though it's not cold. It's windy, a little bit, and raining a little bit. And there's the leaves out on the Rosa Ragosa. This is the one that gets beautiful big rose hips on it, and all the lovely little flowering heads on the sedge. Isn't that beautiful? close up here look. It's not just absolutely beautiful. That's a wild plant. So when you put it into a garden and give it any kind of care and attention it just flourishes. Also down here the first flowers of the honesty. That's the Lunaria the one that um, develops into big silver-like pennies. In fact, here's some of the seed heads, look, from last year. And there's some of the flowers from this year. These are biennial, so it takes two years to come around to flowering. One of the apple trees, heavy with blossom. And a little bit of pink blossom on the Bramley. I'll just go close here so you can see. The Bramley apple flowers a little bit later. Now I give that a really good pruning there um, over the course of the winter. So I'm looking for quite a good harvest on there this year. See this little tree here? Just about to see it. Look, I've mulched it up with grass cuttings. That's a little birch. Now I just grew that from seed the year before last and I planted it out um, over the course of the winter and it's already, gosh, uh, at least four foot high anyway. We'll walk up this way for a little bit of a change. This is a birch. Now, see it's come up there in three stems. I run over that with the lawnmower. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a form of coppicing, okay? That's what I'm going to call it. There's no such thing as an accident. That was coppicing. Anyway, it's worked out really well. Because as you can see, it's now a beautiful multi stem tree. And look how tall that's got. You know people who say, oh, you plant trees for your children or your grandchildren? That's nonsense. You do not. You plant them for yourself. Look at this tree. Now, this is the height at which I'm at. Okay, so look up, 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 up. <laughs> um, right, okay, I can barely see the top. Well, I planted this about seven years ago. So I work on the basis that once the canopy of the tree is overhead, that's the beginning of your woodland. Because that's when the ground underneath it starts to change because of the shade. Now what I need to do is put a little bench into this arbour. There was a little plank there on those two stones. So I either 
get another little scaffolding board or make a little bench. Bamboo, dogwoods. And down along here, look, lots and lots of willow. This is the little arbour, the little arch actually that I did over the course of the winter. So that seems to have rooted down really well. Happy belting there everybody.